In this movie I'm going to take a look at how we can remove layouts from one file and link them into another so that we can reduce the file size and have one file that contains purely the model data and a separate file that contains purely the layout data. So what I have here are two files open, one which is the model data and one which is the layout book. Right now this model data or this file that contains the model data also includes the embedded layouts. As you can see these are all embedded into the file and right now if I take a look at the file size what you'll see is that the model itself is currently running at 8.8 .8 megabytes. I then have a separate file which is a layout book which right now has no data in it other than the standard data for the attributes, the title blocks and the various bits of information we need to create the empty file and that's currently 1.8 meg. The process we need to follow is a pretty simple one. This file all we do is just purely save it. We're then going to drop back into this new file that's now called the layout book and what we're going to do is use the navigator to drag the views from the separate file and link them into this one. And the way we do that is in the navigator we click this top left button and we switch to the organizer view. What we can then do in the organizer is use this first top left button to the chooser and pick on the file that's already open and running. It's just called the courtyard and the name of the file is the model. If the file's not already open we can browse for a separate PLN file or we can actually browse for a teamwork project. Once I've selected the file, what I can see are the views that are saved and also the layouts that are saved within this file. And basically all I'm going to do is grab this top level folder and just drag and drop into this file on the right hand side which is the one that I'm currently inside. Archicad then starts to process, it will bring in any master layouts it needs and it will bring all the data across and link it into this file. So you can see we've now got identical mapping within this file, but remember this particular file itself contains only the layout data. Close this down, we can then start to go through the pages and you can see the views, the pages, everything's correct. The only difference is the project information hasn't yet transferred but what I can do is go up here, go to my project info, you'll see it's already got some information in here but what I did earlier was in the model was hit the save button and save out an XML file that contains the appropriate data. I'm now going to load it into this file and what that does is replace the previous data with the new set that's correct. OK that. And in the process of doing so, that will go through and update all of the title boxes on all of the pages. If I now just save this file, we can take a quick look back in Explorer at the file sizes. And what we'll see is that this layout book has now jumped to 6.4 megabytes. The next step is to return to the model. And what we're going to do is, in the navigator, on the layouts, Let's just delete all of the layouts that are there. We always have to have one blank file. I could also go further and delete the master sheets and that would also free up some extra space. So what we're left with is purely the model data and only the bare minimum layouts. Again if I save this then take a look at how it looks in Explorer we can see that the model is now reduced to 3.4 megabytes. So the difference in size is split between the two files what it means is this model will perform much more quickly and be more responsive than it was with all of the data embedded. This is just a very small example file with only a few layouts in it. As soon as we start to get into dozens and potentially hundreds of different drawings, the file sizes grow quite rapidly and using this technique you can benefit quite significantly. The only other part we need to look at is if we return to the layout book and we decide we've got to add some more views to the layout book, at the moment I've only embedded these ones, but if I go to this blank sheet, it doesn't contain any views at the moment, what I can actually do, because I'm linked to the file, is drop back to the link, and I can actually explore the views that are already saved in that previous file. So this is linking back to the model, and what I can do is just drop down here, select a view that's not already placed, let's grab the demolition plan, and we just drag and drop. And even though we're working with two separate files, this creates the necessary links between the two to allow them to be linked. The one final part to bear in mind is because these are now linked in a different way we should use the drawing manager to keep an eye on the status of the various different drawings and the updates being managed and performed from within here. This is a technique we'd certainly recommend if you start to get into the dozens of layouts embedded within one file. Separating them will increase performance of the overall project.